Hey everyone, it's Peter with PhysicalTherapyTV.com. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to discuss some uh, exercises that you can perform for sciatica. Uh, it's important that you realize the information I'm about to share is for information purposes only. Uh, so please make sure you check with your doctor first uh, before you do anything. Uh, when it comes to sciatica, I'm going to take a little bit different angle uh, on sciatica itself. Many people want a quick fix or a quick cure and unfortunately it is important to note that you got sciatica pain for a reason. Typically uh, those reasons include um, either a flexibility issue you're, you're struggling with or a stability issue or a combination of both. When I refer to stability this means your core strength uh, muscles. Those are the low back and the abdominal muscles and the hip stabilizing muscles. If you have weakness there, it can cause the, the pelvis to rotate or shift and you can have excess of uh, pressure uh, on the sciatic nerve or even cause muscle spasms that can pinch down on the sciatic nerve. Rest restricted uh, or flexibility issue might include restriction in your muscle and joint range of motion. and. Uh, uh, very important to uh, get a good assessment as far as assessing your flexibility and joint integrity uh, range of motion because uh, any deficit there can lead to uh, sciatica as well such as having a tight hip for example on one side can lead to changes in your muscle flexibility in your uh, calf muscles and in your hip flexor muscles and this can lead to sciatica uh, so a good way to test flexibility and stability uh, is a single leg balance test. Perform this test preferably um, without shoes. Um, a pass on this test would be to be able to hold your balance for 10 seconds on one side and then repeat it on the other side. Both sides should be the same. If you were to fail this test um, you would have uh, the inability to maintain a nice steady position for 10 seconds. Typically one side would be worse than the other side and that could indicate a lack of flexibility and or core strength. Uh, some, some good flexibility exercises, uh, this is just a sample, would be a uh, active supine hamstring stretch, a piriformis and gluteal stretch uh, in a seated rotational position or even a runner stretch which hits the hip flexors and calf muscles. You never want to work into pain because it can cause more muscle spasm but these exercises can be helpful. Uh, to work on your core strength and your stability strength like we mentioned earlier in the video the uh, plank type of exercises, the side plank and the regular plank exercise are, are great. These two pictures are of uh, real advanced positions but you can do them by uh, lowering your legs to the floor uh, and cheating a little bit but uh, still allow you to get the benefit of the exercise and you can work your way up to more advanced positions. Uh, be sure that you check with your doctor first bef before ever attempting any exercises because you can aggravate your sciatica. We've got some free information over at thelowbackreport.com. There's a link below this video if you want to check it out. Thank you so much uh, for watching and we'll speak to you soon.